hi and welcome my name is ishaq in today's video we are going to build our first pyqt 5 gy what is pyqt pyqt is bindings to popular c plus plus gy library which is called qt or qt many popular softwares are using pyqt such as spider id and not to say anything about qt and this is the version 5 which is a major update to the version 4 which was pyqt4 although pyqt is a very powerful and feature rich gui library because qt is such but there is a license problem which is that you cannot create proprietary softwares in this gui library you will have to buy an appropriate license but there is an another project which is also bindings to Qt GUI library and which is officially supported by Qt company and it's not so popular I don't know why but there is no license problem the project name is Qt for Python and its module name is PySide 2 but the good news is that if you adopted PySide 2 in place of PYQT you can still watch PYQT tutorial videos because you will only need to change import statements and sometimes you may need to make some minor changes to your script to make it compatible for PySide 2 but let's be specific to PYQT so how to install PYQT5 well you will open the terminal and type that following command python is the environment variable and minus m is a command to load a module and pip is the module's name which installs packages and then install is the command and pyqt5 is the parameter so it will install pyqt5 on your machine and if there was some dependencies which are not available in your computer so it will install them too to check if pyqt is installed and working we will try to import it so i will say import pyqt5 and we will get no errors so it means that pyqt is installed successfully pyqt5 is a package and it contains many modules so we want to access a single module whose name is qt widgets so i will change my import statement as from py qt5 import qt widgets and again we don't need to have the whole module we only need to import two classes from qt widgets so i will make further change to my import statement i will say pyqt5 dot qt widgets import q application and q level so this line says import q label and q application classes from qt widgets module from pyqt5 package q application is not a widget by itself it is used to make an entry to the qt application so let's create an instance of it i will say app equals q application and here i will provide an empty list which shows that this application doesn't process or accept command line parameters so let's go further here create a label object label equals q label whose content will be hello world and call its show method after that enter into the app main loop so I will say app.execute show is a very powerful command of any widget it creates a native window for it and puts that widget into it if we run our this code we will get a GUI which is for sure is not what we want so we will add some necessary settings first of all I would like to change the font size of the label so I will say label.setStyleSheet 
and Qt supports some minimum set of CSS attributes and this is one of the favorite features of Qt. So its font size is gonna be 20pt. After that I will change its windows minimum size. So I will say level dot set minimum size 400 and 400. First parameter is the width and second parameter is the height. After that I would like to change its windows title. Its title will be also hello world. Now let's run our code. Now we have some nice looking GUI but the hello world is not centered. Now how we can center it? Text align CSS attribute is not supported by QLabel. So for alignment we have to access an another module whose name is Qt Core. So I will say from pyqt5 dot qt core import qt and qt has an attribute align center. Here I will call the labels set alignment method and I will provide the alignment value. Now let's run our code. And now everything is looking fine. And this hello world label will be always at the center when we are resizing the window. And we cannot decrease the size of the window from 400 and 400 pixels which is the minimum size of the window we set. So this was how you can start with PYQT5 and in case you are using PySide 2 you will only need to change this package name from PYQT5 to PySide 2 and you will get the same result. Well that was our end of video. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye bye.